Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another large custom world, and this is another racetrack. And it's called the Araniska Raceway, which is this glory stuff you can see all the way around me. So it's a large dusty race track that comes with a bunch of vehicles ready to go, including a countdown system on a timer, so you just simply hit the button, and away you go with all your friends. Yes, it's a very large track that features a bunch of different hazards. We've got sharp corners, we've got optional jumps to save a bit of time. In fact, that's the jump right there on this bridge. So we could go around on this lovely safe path all the way around, or you could take the dangerous route and jump over that bridge and perhaps end your run early. We've got lots of different points of interest all the way around this track. So we'll come over to this part. We've got a rundown water tower. We've got crashed ships. And we do have a few signposts here and there to tell you what's going on and to point you in the right direction. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to take a look around this track and then we're going to go around in the vehicle and I'm going to attempt to race it at high speeds to hopefully do it in one piece. Come all the way back around to the starting point and we're just going to pan around the camera and see what's going on. There are a lot of buildings here and there but all of them are empty and most of them don't even have an interior. They're just there for decorative pieces. So all the way over here past these wind turbines, this is our starting point and our starting gate. Up where I'm standing is a button panel, which is how we're going to activate the lights on the opposite side, which is sitting on some neon tubes. We also have an LCD screen that will light up, we'll see that a bit later on. And the way we get all the way up to there is through a ladder system right down here, we come through this passage, up the ladder, then up and over to the place where I'm standing. Right next to it, and on the opposite side, we've got our audience seat, which is a bunch of seats on some magnetic plates, that's when we sit there and watch how the race starts, and how it ends. We also have a safety barrier as well right in front of it, make sure you don't slam into them, on the opposite side next to our audience stand, we do have a big billboard with some clang cola and a watchtower come all the way up to it. We do have to wait to climb up to it naturally, but that's all it is. It allows you to peer down at the race to see what's going on. If we were to move over to this part right here, this is your garage. We can repair up the vehicles, customize it, or even build your own vehicle if you don't want to use the default ones that spawn naturally in this world. We've got a few shelves around the room, we've got lockers in the back, and some lovely windows above us that give you a good play of view of what you're building. If you were to turn around and look over to here, we've got a few more bits and bobs from decoration. So just over here, not too sure what this is meant to be, but it looks kind of like a sniper's nest where you can just sit in here and hold your gun to make sure they're actually going to race, not try and run away. That's up to you if you do that. There's an antenna that's been sunk into the ground. In fact, there's the base right there. Then over to here, we've got a few places where you can store a few vehicles, or even just stand under there if it starts to rain. If you were to peer over to this section, we've got a few buildings which once again do not have a proper interior, but the doors are completely blocked up with steel blocks. See what the pan the camera all the way through, what we're gonna find is, well, not too much. Turn off my light for the moment. Then in the background, we've got ourselves a rundown war silo, which we're gonna see quite a few of as we go around the track. That's all it is, and all the way up there. Then over here, another piece that'll be featured all the way around the track is a bunch of spared and rundown parts, such as this unfinished rusted argent thruster, a few wooden boxes, a training dummy, and a few freight crates just from decoration. As for that section right behind me, if we were to come all the way up to here, this is your spawn room, where, well, this is where you're going to start when you download the map. We've got ourselves a lovely LCD screen, some seats, clan cola, a vending machine, a medical bay in the back, then two doorways, which is going to be through your toilets, just in case you need to go before you hop into your car. Then right next to it, we've got a docking pad for a large ship to come drop off your racing vehicles, or even bring the audience to come and view the race. Looking all around over there, there's another watchtower, there's some more safety barriers, and then we'll come back to that a bit later on. Yes, coming over to here and looking at the vehicles themselves, so right this, this is the standard car, nothing too fancy about it, just a rover cockpit in the middle, and everything's been fully set up, the speed limit has been engaged, make sure you don't go wonky and out of control, and you can thanks to how this has been set up, just go at full speed, all around the track, without any issues whatsoever, apart from the final corner at the very end, we'll see that a bit later on. For the moment, what we're going to do is just pan the camera. So here we go, we've got another little gate, make sure it's nice and guided. Just going to come all the way across past some wind turbines. Over to this part, we've got a bunch of solar panels. And as we're going to continue around onto the track, this will be the first split in the path. So what we've got is a bunch of more railings, we've got a bunch of rundown walls, then we've got this hazard strip in the middle. Now you could go all the way around this if you wanted to, and head across over the bridge if you think you can make the jump. It'll be a hell of a lot quicker than going all the way around, because if you don't do the jump, you then have to come around past this, past a crashed rusted ship, past another water tower, then past a few more buildings that we saw at the very start. But yes, that then rejoin up onto this section, then continue all the way around, past more wind turbines, past another gate, 
and they've gotten slightly curved all the way around, then over to this section, where we once again see our water tower, then a small little spare part section over there. Got a few more rundown pieces and some barriers all the way around this, there's some hydrogen tanks with some golden curved conveyors. Moving around up to this section, past this part, all the way over to here, another billboard, then we've got a precarious pyramid right on the side there. We then come all the way through, past this part, we've got a bunch of rundown towers, some more solar panels, that's going to come up to this part, where we're going to start to turn around and then go down into a ravine. That's going to pass another billboard, and this is the first dangerous point on the track, where you could slam into the wall, but luckily because block destruction is turned off, not too much is going to happen, but you could easily flip this thing over and lose a lot of time. Then we come all the way down to here, we've got a lovely building in the wall. Once again, you can't see anything on the inside, purely there for decoration. And it's going to come down into this part, we're going to go to a small rundown city. Past some more safety barriers, a bunch of buildings all around here, another sniper's nest, there's a gate for you to be guided through, then a bunch of different buildings with a few bits and bobs that we can interact with. So over on the left hand side inside this building we can see some cargo containers, if we were to continue along we can see some more audience stands to view the rays, then we come to another split in the path. So this one's going to come all the way around, around to here, we're just going to loop back to where it started. Not too sure why you take this route other than the other one, unless it was extremely congested, and you risk while slamming into stuff and going off the track. If we look around over to this part, we've got this little pillar in the middle, but behind this and into here, we then have a fully set up building where we can walk inside and see we've got some tables, some counter blocks, and a few lights. Onto the side of this thing, we've got a few very odd looking vehicles. We've got one with a bunch of wheels on there with some grinders, and then got some kind of like a speeder from Star Wars. And behind there, we've got another building which we can go inside. There we go, but it doesn't have any actual decorations. It would have come out and then continue along, a few more buildings, some more water towers, and over to here we can see another door to go inside, this time this one is open, then in the middle here we've got ourselves a battery, and not too much else. So there is plenty of places for you to decorate if you wanted to, that would add to the block count and could make it a bit performance heavy, if you want to go around and do it to all the buildings. Continuing along, another billboard, another little sniper tower, a few more houses, there's another gate. That will lead up to this part, where we're starting to get to the end section. We've got a bunch of large cargo containers, going all the way around this area. We've then got some spotlights, nice little arrows, another little building with not too much going on in the middle here, but we do have windows. And out we come, up to here, past these wind turbines, past another sniper tower, past this gate. All the way up to here, we've got another symbol, but it warns you that there is a sharp corner, and this did catch me out when I came around the first time. Where well, is a bloody sharp corner, look at that. And it's going uphill, which is the absolute worst. So you're just gunning along here, and you have to slam on the brakes pretty damn quickly, or you're going to go flying off onto that dune and lose a bunch of time. Got a few more barriers all the way around here, another gate. There's some more wind turbines, and that's going to loop all the way around, past the little part right here. That'll eventually take us back to where we were at the very start. So that is the complete track and what we can expect. Now, without further ado, what I'm going to do is grab hold of my character, and we're going to hit this button up here, we have got to be very quick, and get down into the vehicle. Coming down into here, there we go. In third person view, we can look up there. We can see that we are ready to go. We did miss countdown timer. We can see the flag right there, and the LCD screen has lit up, and says to go. So undo the parking brake, and moving forwards, first person view, here we go at full speed, all around this track properly. And yes, this vehicle will cap out at about 54 meters per second. But there are solar panels, and I'm not going to do the jump, in fact I might do the jump at the very end. I'm just going to continue along here, come around to this part, be very careful not to slam into anything, maybe let off the throttle for the moment. I'm just going to come around this, past that crash ship, and we've got to be very careful of these little rocks right here. Now that's where the path rejoins, and we're going to come up to this, have a slight corner to the right, we're just going to wiggle around. There will be a bit of air time as you go around a few jumps. Now we're going to come past a few more solar panels. And then we're going to come around to a rather precarious corner where we'll need to slow down just a little bit, otherwise we're going to go slamming into the side of this mountain. So here we go down to here, it's very wobbly, very bumpy. We need to be a bit careful, there we go, using the gyroscopes, slamming into that. And that was a pretty bad mistake, but can I recover this? No I cannot, so we're going to have to use the gyroscopes. Now just continue along on the journey. So there's that building in the wall. And he's driving along here. Now we're going to come down to that big city we just saw. So all the way past this. In fact what I might do is actually come around into this part. So slowing down, slamming on the brakes. 
and we're just going to take a little detour around all these houses. There's some more unfinished thrusters. All the way around, we're now going to rejoin at this middle pillar. There's those little vehicles. And now we continue up to those cargo containers that will eventually lead up to that very sharp corner. So now we're just going to gun it and head towards the finish line. Very careful now. And any second now, we're going to see that LCD screen telling us the warning. And we need to be very, very quick on the brakes. So here we go. There is the warning sign. And you will need to slam on the brakes just a little bit. And I don't think I was doing it in time. Yes, I did. I thought I had a bit of air there. And we're just going to come around and now back towards the stars. So on this part, it's perfectly fine just to gun it at full speed. And here we go. Got to be careful of the cars at the front there. And in a few seconds, now we're just going to go and cross the finish line. There we go. Now slam on the brakes. And that is that the full on race course. So what I'll do to finish off this video is now come back around and continue over to that bridge that we just saw. I don't know why I just did the U-turn there. Let's just go and go along towards that bridge and just do a little jump and that'll be the end of this video. So here we go. We'll be a little bit careful. We'll do this in third person view so we can actually see what's going on. Very careful here. It's a bit bouncy. Now we're just going to come over to this part right here. Don't know why I just hit, but now we're going to try and realign this. And that should be okay to do. We're just going to go back over here to make sure I've got a bit more speed. And you could always raise that up if you want to. But I'm not going to do that for the moment. We're just going to reverse all the way up. And turn all the way around. And now we're going to attempt to jump the bridge to see how bad this actually is. So we can see the ramp right there. There's a few holes in the floor. And yes, that would save a hell of a lot of time. But it looks like you could go horribly wrong at the end there and slam it into that building. Yes, other than that, that's pretty much it the Araniska Raceway. It's a lovely racetrack with a nice sort of stuff to view, not too much in the way of hazards on the track to get in the way and make it frustrating. It's very well set up, very clearly labelled at any kind of hazards coming up, and you could have a lot of fun with it. So be linked to it in the description below if you wish to download it and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.